you too. Welcome back to my animal house. Today there's not a lot of animals in the video. There's going to be none. But, if you watch my last video, or my last couple of videos, I got mice babies everywhere. Thought I was going to have to slow down production. Thought I was going to have too many. With the African suffer, you know, rats starting to produce, I thought, well, I'll slow down the mice. Bang. I get the monitor. So now that I got the monitor, I need more pinkies. So what are we going to do? We're going to ramp up the old mice production, get them breeding like crazy. More babies, happier animals. All right, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to build a rat rack. Rodent rack, mouse rack, whatever you want to call it. I need more space for more rodents. So what are we going to do today? We're going to build one. I'm going to take you along for the ride. I'm going to show you how I build mine. I'll give you a parts list. I might even draw out a diagram of how I go about it. And uh, we'll start this video. We'll get it going. And uh, we'll build this rodent rack. All right, everybody. Here we go. everybody I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get the four legs up here I already cut all the wood you seen that fast forward through all that kind of stuff you don't need to see me cutting all that um, but now that we're done um, I'm gonna put the four legs out here and I'm gonna do four shelves they're five foot legs like you know and uh, I'm gonna put one every foot so basically I'm just gonna kind of map it out on the two by four is where I need my runners and and where the actual top of the rack is gonna be all right Two to four over there. Yeah, just try to get these little board underneath there to lift it up, but I just try to get them as close as I can. As long as they all line up later, that's all they can. Scales, I need just to line every foot. And on top of this one, we'll whatever the first one, so we just gotta go down. One foot, two, three, and four. All right, now we know our material for the the top of each bin is an inch and a half, and then we want a three quarter gap. So basically after the fill you just go down two and a quarter. And then that should give us our bin will rest here and then our gap and then our uh, railing will go there. So we have two and a quarter here, two and a quarter here. Two and a quarter there. Alright, we'll just do the same thing on this other 2x4 here, 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 2x4 
sure everybody's lined up still. And then we'll just transfer all of these lines. Alright, there we go. Well, and I did forget. We will need a two and a quarter here because this is the top of the of the first one. So we need to go there. I would have been all like, where's the first one? Alright, connect that one. There we go. Now we're rolling. Alright, I'll get rid of two of these. And then I'll kind of show you how I set up the rails. We'll need four for this. Basically, we're just going to put the railing on here. So we'll just mark three and a half in. And I'll drill, I'll kind of do two uh, countersink drill holes here. And then we'll get these lined up and I'll sink them in. And yeah, we'll put one here and as we go. Yep, that'll work good. Alright, so we'll mark all of these. Counterfeiting just a little bit. Use some of these little short screws. This should be fine. Actually, I'm gonna back this up so I can hang this, hang this side over here a little bit, so it'll be easier. There we go. Now, This just for the sake of the video so I can get it up off of that sweep. Get my trusty clamps. Line it up. Thank you. Just like that. Let's do once you do any adjusting. a little bit better I'll be able to line this one out for a little room for us.
you know I'm straight, you can sink in your mother too. There you go. There's the runners. Now. There you go. And that'll be for all four shelves as we go down. This is the one will ride here, 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 and here. One, two, three, four. And that'll give me a little bit longer for legs. So, uh, now that you've seen that process, I'll speed the rest of this up and I'll get the rest of this built. And uh, we'll get it sped through. two three four shells now all you got to do is just take the other two legs put these brackets on the same exact way and then you got one for each side and left and a right so you know I, you don't need to see me do the other side you already know how to do this side so you can just duplicate that so now we'll go on to making one of the, the tops of the cages and we'll build one of them and then we'll put all this together and uh, we'll have us a, a mouse rack this is going to be more for mice because I'm going to use quarter inch screen it's a holding pin for the girl wax. Alright. I'll get to building that other one. You guys don't have to see that. And uh, as soon as I'm ready to build the old things, I'll come back and show you. Alright, at this point, when you have your um, two sides done, you might as well go to the back side of them. Just lay down where your railing is face down. And then you can kind of map out where your, um, where your two screws are going to be that will hook in the shelf. So for like this one, I know that the first one's one and a half. Go down to a foot, and then I got a foot, and then one and a half, two foot, and then one and a half, three foot. And then one and a half. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Which is right here, one and a half, and then one foot. One and a half, two foot, one and a half, three foot, one and a half. All right, so now if we do this, now if we just take her square here, and this is just kind of a rough estimate. If you do that line, this line, this line, and here. Here, here, and here. You can do the same kind of thing, just kind of mark out two. And you can put your countersink holes, you can pre drill these in right now because you'll know you need one here and one here to hold on to the shelf. And I'll do the same lines over here and get it ready to go. Like I said, these don't have to be exact. They just, you just kind of need the center of what you're doing where it holds it, you know, very secure. Alright. Same thing, I need one here, one here, one here, one there, one here, one there, one here, one there. One here, one there. So now I'll just get the hole. Get the drill. And then we'll just countersink each one of these. They don't have to be exact. Throw them in there. Done. Doesn't make things go a lot faster. Once you get your shelves bit.
Now do the same thing to the other side. You have a left and a right and all pre-drilled holes. Just throw some screws in there and get them started and you're ready to put the shelves in when they're done. Alright, here we go. On to the shelves. Alright everybody, here we are back at the table. Ready to build us our first, uh, I guess, top. So we'll need four of the 16 and 3 quarters and 2 of the 28. So basically all you got to do, nice. Essentially all we're going to do, no matter what with these 1 by 2s, sometimes they're a little wonky on if one's thicker than the other, but just as long as you're building it on something straight and the, the bottom, as long as it's all flush to the bottom surface, that's because that's where the tub's going to ride. So just as long as it's it's flush up here really doesn't matter up on top because then the food goes here the screens down below so it doesn't really affect nothing so basically just and the reason why i do all of them the exact same they're all 16 and three quarters and then to where you got your brace here and your brace here and then you don't have to change any measurements they're all basically the same so basically is what i do is i just pre-drill all my holes where i need them in here and here here and here down here here and then into here and then just assemble it all together on the table to where it's all flush. And then uh, I'll show you how to put the screen on after I do this. And uh, we'll speed up the procedure of me pre-drilling all these holes. And uh, if there's anything that I remember that I need to let you know about, then I'll uh, I'll stop the fast the fast forwarding and uh, explain it to you. But I think that's you'll get the gist of it as soon as I get all the, the measurements whipped out and all the holes pre-drilled. And then... Uh, we're almost ready to go. All right. everybody that's it this is it on this tray thing you can make this this support here you can make this as long or as short as you want to make this food tray I actually make a, a for the mice only because the holders are so small I'll make a piece of wood in here that I can fluctuate for the food to where they're not chasing one piece around all the time if the bin is low and you you know if you you know if you haven't filled it up in a minute or something or j just in case it doesn't make them fight for it as much it makes it the food stay together more so all that's kind of your option on how you want to do it these corner clamps are amazing for building these so if you ever think you're going to build one or even more than one invest in one or two of these these things will help you along the way all right i'm going to get the screen ready and i'm going to show you how to cut the screen get it on there staple it on and uh this will be done all right, we're back here. We kind of got our screen. Everybody, be careful. You get the big rolls of the screen, especially that quarter end stuff is just crazy. You cut that little wire, it just sprays open like a chain. But um, I got us a piece that's a basic size of what I need, and then I'll kind of talk about what we got to do. Basically, just find out where your spot is and how many squares you kind of need. I go as far as I can to the edge, but not over. So see how some of these are bent. We'll use this. This is not bad. All right, so I know if I clean up this edge here, I'm good. And then um, that one's good. We'll go there. So basically, I know if I just cut it at this row here, and then this row here, that's kind of what I need to do. So then I'll get that all cut. I'll get it laid out. I'll show you kind of how I staple it down. You don't need to see the whole procedure, but remember. When you do this, remember earlier I marked all the tops of these because we wanted it to be flush down here. So the screen, remember to flip this over. And that knot's no big deal. Remember, this will be the flush side. Everything's flush because it was the one on the table. So this is what you want to staple the screen to. So remember, when you do it, you want, you want the screen to be on this end because it's the most... You know, and, and these wires, like the wires that are running this way are on the top. 
if I flip it over, then the wires that are running this way are on the top. And they'll actually run with the bin. So I remember if I staple it this way, as the bin's coming in and out, it'll help it ride a lot easier. So that's just a little tip when you're putting this wire down. To make sure to remember the direction of the wires. Have the long way going with the direction of the bin inside of there. It'll help out when you got your bins in there and everything. So uh, I'll get this cut up. And uh, you know I'm not even going to do the fast forward part of that. I'm just going to get this cut up, get it ready for stapling, and then uh, we'll get back to this video. All right, everybody, but this, this, this screen's kind of wonky. Sometimes it's this way, that way. I usually just find me a corner. Favor the front. We know that this is where the front is. This is where the front of the, the bin's going to be. If it's a little wonky in the back, who cares? Nobody's even going to see it anyway. Just make sure this is all running the, the right way. Remember the, the ones you want running this way are on the top of the screen. So I just usually basically just find a corner and then uh, just kind of staple across, find my spot there, and then kind of adjust the screen, kind of pull it this way or that way after we get some uh, anchor points. So I just kind of do that now. Just kind of give me at least one there so I know the front. So no matter what, I know that that's good. See, and then back here we're kind of wonky. Give the screen a little stretch that way. I'm going to get the base of the screen down. Alright. Let me grab some more staples and uh, we'll talk a little bit and then uh, we'll continue. Alright, now that we're back to this. You just kind of, at this point, just kind of make sure the corners are really good, everything's down on the sides. You don't have to worry about the mice ain't going to get to none of this, because the basket's going to be riding. So just make sure everything's kind of down on the sides and, and that kind of thing. And you like to go this way. Because this is where the bin's going to ride. flopping real good, you can just kind of do whatever you want, I mean, there's carpenter guys out there that are, that's right, how you do it, but hey, that's how I do it, don't be intimidated by what somebody else is going to do, just do what you're going to do, it may not be perfect, but at least you try, a lot of people don't even try. This edge, I'm going to really get good. I'm going to put a bunch of staples because this is where the tub's going to slide in to begin with. 
And usually I'll smack it with a hammer to try to sink it down into the wood. I'll show you. Oh, of course, now I can't find my little mallet. Oh, I hung it up. Yeah, go figure, huh? <laughs> but anyway, I usually just take this. It just kind of sinks it into the wood a little bit. And plus, it'll knock all these down. You don't need to hear that anymore. But anyway, just smack them around. Smack all your, your staples. Anywhere where it's wrinkly, you know, grab your staple. Kind of go through. Yeah, you gotta remember this is gonna be like this and the bucket's gonna slide underneath. So you just want to make sure this this ledge is all good and uh, I'm just gonna um, go over this one, add a couple staples here and there and we're done. All we gotta do is build three more of these and the next time you see me, I won't bore you with the other three. The next time uh, we're back here at the bench, we'll be assembling the whole thing. So here we go. All right, Rat Rack Builders. We are ready to assemble. I just wanted to say, you know, uh, that I apologize for the last little part of the putting the screen on and that kind of thing. The camera was getting all wonky on me and wouldn't focus and that kind of thing. But there, the camera's also, there's a little crack through the lens. It wouldn't focus. But I got a new camera now. Hopefully the footage is better. These are our left and right sides for the rack. These are all four of the top parts of the shelf, I guess you call it and uh, some of the things we'll be using. So hopefully the video is a whole lot better now than the first part. So if the video quality is better and if you do like the change or you know the new camera, let me know in the comments below please. And uh, so then I know that I'm improving. Here's the, just wanna go over some of the stuff we're gonna use and what we're gonna do and how we're gonna put this together. All right, let's go. All right, we got some clamps, of course. These are the adjustable clamps. These are just kind of the squeezy ones. I'll show you why I use those. Of course, a drill. The old Phillips bit on there. Hammer, some screws. I use the 8x2 on this project. And some kind of a level, preferably metal. I'll explain why here in a little bit. Marker, because like here, I got on here. This is the second shelf, first shelf, third shelf, fourth shelf. You know, and then I've got it marked on there too, so I know where everything's at. Like we did in the video on the backs of all the shelves, everything's all pre-drilled. So all we got to do basically now is just line up every, you know, the shelves to all the lines and screw holes that we put up before. I'll kind of go over the first one and we'll talk about it. And then I'll kind of speed through the other three and we'll get to the end of this video and uh, show you the completed product. All right, here you go. This is, you know, I'm going to start on the second shelf. That's just kind of how I want to do it. You can start with any shelf you want just as long as you get it together. Follow all your guidelines, line everything up. Everything should be all right. <laughs> we'll see. But anyway, I'm a one-man show. So if you got two people, please use them because it'll make it a lot easier. But um, it'll be entertaining for me to get this first one on there and get all the clamps on there without it falling over. And if it does, don't laugh at me. You know you will anyway. It's all right. I don't care if you laugh. But uh, here we go. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to break this one over here. Yeah. Make sure you get the feed up front for the feed section. So I'm going to move there. And this, 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 uh, I don't care about the line now. We'll worry about that here in a minute. I'll get this. Once I get this kind of situated, I'll put the camera somewhere better to where we can kind of see what's going on. Thank you. 
that's good. It's kind of how I wanted it sticking out a little bit. All right. <laughs> Didn't fall over. You know you was waiting. Right, a little closer there. But this is where the um, where the level comes in. See, on on this surface, we know it's all flush. So I just put these here. If you have a two foot uh, metal one, it, it's a lot, you know, you don't need the extra, but you know, mine's plastic, so it kind of bends a little bit. So I'm just using the five foot one just because it's aluminum actually, not metal, but um, to where now all I do is I just kind of loosen it up a little bit and I'll just use the hammer and I'll kind of, you know, use my hand. And then as soon as, as soon as it touches the two by fours, I know that you know the whole surface of this is going to be is going to be uh is going to be level because like i said all the stuff in the back if it's off a little bit back there or a little short or something it's not going to hurt nothing get the marks lined up there I know it's probably not good on the level, but hey, it's what it is. Right. Let's go from there now. Get back here. And then, like I said before, just make sure all your lines are set up. All of them are good. I just wanted to move it so I got room to get my screw in there. All right, that's pretty really good. Just grab a couple screws. Yeah. Stop at like 13. Easy puts them in there pretty good without going too far. Let's see if I can. It slipped a little bit, but it's alright. There we go. First shelf's in. Just kind of throw these here. It's all ready to go. So now is what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to back everything out just like a like just a little quarter of a turn. So then it'll just help everything kind of go together as I put the shelves in. And um, so that's it for the one shelf. Just make sure you get your food trays in the front. And um, 
I'll speed through the rest of this, and I'll put it all together, and uh, we'll get to the end of this video. Man, this is so cool. Remember, three quarters of an inch gap. That's what I use. You can measure. If you use a different tub, it's going to be different, but the ones I got are just from Lowe's, Home Depot, like a cement mixing tub. Okay. They got two different sizes. I'm using the smaller one of the two. I think it still says medium on it, which is weird, but um, it's actually the smaller of the two. But yeah, just three quarter inch here. Make sure everything's when you have it clamped up, you can actually move it up and down and adjust it if you need to and all that before you put your screws in. So, you know, it's kind of a fail safe. So, all right, we'll get to the rest. Here we go, everybody. It's done. Check it out. All the drawers work. Clearance levels look good. But yeah, overall it looks good. I hope your guys' looks better than this. Oh, I wanted to show you something in the back that I did. Hold on, let's roll around here. I just kind of, on the back here, I used, uh, I have a bunch of leftover four pieces from uh, a project a long time ago or whatever. And uh, so I just cut them to size just to stop the, the tubs from uh, being able to come out. Just in case. I like to not to put this screw in there because I didn't want to split this wood right here. Oh, and I do want to show you guys this because I know you, in the description you're going to think I'm crazy. But this wood is, uh, I use these little, the white rails right here. And I use them because uh, they're a lot straighter than these one by one and a half by one and a half. So, you know, I just, for the straightness of it. But it's like 23, 30 seconds by one and a half. I'll show you the, the skew on the board there. So you know I'm not crazy in the description. They were about three bucks a piece. I used three of them, I think, in here. And I'll write all that down that I used three of these boards and about roughly what I paid for it. But, you know, I'll, like these little pieces here, these were free. So it's no big deal. It's from another project. But, yeah, it just kind of stops it to where they don't go. But yeah, I think it looks really good. There's a little bit of clearance right here because, look, on these tubs... They have a measurement right here so it kind of dips down a little bit but them little mice they ain't getting out of there the other one that i have got doesn't have or the clearance isn't this good and they have an escape there so yeah overall everybody look it's very good i'll get a as you can see outside it's raining so uh tomorrow if uh I get any decent sunlight I'll take it outside and I'll take a bunch of pictures and I'll add it into this video and yeah I enjoy building this with the with you guys I you know I hope your guys has turned out remember you know and hey guys when you guys are you know when you're watching this video and you're looking at it and it's like oh I don't know if I can do that just do it you know math it out I mean just do the measurements it's like just cut the board. Just it's not that big a deal at all. The only the only way that you're gonna fail is if you don't try. You know anybody can do this. That's why it's DIY. It's like do it yourself. It's like don't let the woodworking discourage you from you know doing it. It's like not everybody has to be perfect, and that's why I told you like on the table lay everything flush. That bottom's gonna be flush. The top doesn't have to be. Look, this doesn't matter if these two right pieces right here match or these two, but the underside it does because that's where the screen's at. Let me take this out you know so that's where it matters is inside of there and all that's all flush we know that so you know hey that's all that counts so guys you guys can build this it's no problem at all i mean just like this front right here you know the fronts i use the old level got them all flush the back ones may not they may stick out a little bit or 
They may be in a little bit. But who cares? You know? Bang. Looks good from here, You guys right? can pause this video. You can, uh, anytime you need to, just stop it. And that's what I would do. I watch so many videos when I do a project, you know, because it's like the more advice you get from more different, you know, videos and YouTubers and, you know, you can take all their ideas and just build something that's amazing. You know, it's like way better than everybody else's, you know. So uh, this is how I built mine, you know. It works for me. If it doesn't work for you, you know, you build your own. Make a video and then I'll build one of yours. <laughs> like I said, I'll has all the measurements and what I use, material list and all that in the description as soon as I get a chance to put all this together. But yeah, really enjoyed making this with you and... Uh, I hope you, if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. There'll be more videos like this. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it.